The Bank of Ghana is, to, um, is set to begin scrutinizing compensation policies for chief executive officers, key management personnel, and board of directors of commercial banks. Governor Dr. Ernest Addison explained this will help um, align compensation with overall bank performance by linking it to clear parameters, including the quality of the bank's assets. Dr. Ernest Addison explained this will ensure transparency because banks would be required to publish value-added statements disclosing details of the compensation packages of key management personnel and board of directors separately from total employee compensation. This is a recent decision. We have looked at the operational costs of the bank. If you look at the cost of operations of the banks, you see where the inefficiencies are coming from. And we think that it's about time that we sat down and had a conversation uh, and show that, you know, chief executives that are, you know, reporting all these high non-performing loans are not being compensated in essence of some of the results that they're achieving, just to bring some equity into the system. So. This is really very early days yet, but it's an idea that we have thrown out uh, as part of our processes after every MPC, we have a meeting with the Ghana Association of Banks, and I believe we'll be meeting them on Wednesday, so they, we will go through the details of all of this uh, with the stakeholders. To further deepen transparency in the determination of lending rates, banks, he explained, will be required to develop and publish a clear framework on the risk premium buildup that impacts on an individual borrower's credit profile. You would see that we devoted uh, quite a bit of time on the lending issue on SMEs, quite apart from the monetary policy decision of positioning the policy rate. So we had to go into a whole section on credit and that obviously requires more diligent review before we release that to the public. This is expected to provide borrowers with a more informed basis for negotiating lending rates with their banks and enhance transparency in the credit delivery process while promoting responsible credit behavior from borrowers.